everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with a huge makeup haul. I mean, I'm jo not even joking. I have spent like over a hundred pound in boots the last few weeks. Anyway, without further ado, let's just get started. So it's been forever because the last few weeks have been absolutely manic uh, behind closed doors and like at work in general. So yeah, I'm just gonna start with, I basically put it all into this makeup bag so you guys, I can just put it all out and don't have to dig through everything to find them. I haven't used half of these yet. So I'm super excited to share it with you guys. And also, do you like my new little crates? Um, they're from AliExpress, but they're very aesthetically pleasing and I've wanted them for so long and they finally arrived. Okay, I need to, I've got some lightning drops for this. I didn't realize the color when I bought it because I got it off eBay for like 15 pound or something on bid. This is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I haven't had this for years. Thought I'd treat myself to it um, as it's my birthday coming up for my 25th in a month's time. And I got medium dark by accident. It's not as bad as it looks, but I mean like, I'm definitely gonna need lightning drops. I'm not trying to blackfish, obviously. Um, I ordered some lightning drops that I've used before on my Clinique one and they worked really well. They're from MUA Cosmetics. So hopefully that will work fine, but I'm really excited to try this out. I actually haven't used this in so long, so it'd be nice to have that foundation back in my life. So I got sent a sample of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation very cute it's actually a decent sized sample for Armani and like high end anyway and I loved it so much I wore it on mine and Mel's date night and honestly I just felt so good my skin felt and looked amazing that I just had to go and get a bigger bottle of it I also got this on eBay as well on bid for like nine pound which is a bargain so I'm super excited to use this funnily enough this one's actually a little light but I don't know if that's because I've got fake tan on and I tried it on this morning but if not I can always add something to it to make it a bit darker or I can mix my NARS one who knows but yeah I'm literally obsessed with this foundation um I haven't actually worn tan for weeks I just wanted it on one night and funnily enough that was the night before me and Mel went on a date so it kind of panned out well so I am living for it I also got told this next product couldn't be duped so of course I got the real one um I also found this on eBay for 18 pound I won the best offer thing and they accepted it and this is the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter oh my god i should have bought this sooner it is incredible i tried it the minute it came to my door i got mine in the shade three so fair pale which it still looks quite tan and god does it give your skin a glow you literally look like a goddess i honestly recommend every girl has this in her makeup bag it is worth the money you don't even need to wear foundation with it it is that good like i'm honestly shook i'm just obsessed i see why all these girls basically tiktok made me buy it and i'm not mad at buying it either because it just it's incredible i'm pulling these out at random the next one i got gifted a hundred pound boots voucher um this is about an app well a website called slash you basically get discounted boots and every time you refer a friend you get 10 pound and they get 10 pound so you basically save so much money and i also have had a few referrals so i made another order which is on its way um but this is the first one of the first things i picked up the elf soothing face primer it's like a moisturizer it's so nice why have i not picked this up before this is like nine pound but honestly i'm living for this 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 is a really good primer i have like medium medium like normal to dry skin depending on the weather to be honest with you and i'm really glad i picked that up i also want to try the like hyper grip one or whatever it's called or hyper grip I'm not sure, but I really want to try it. It looks amazing. There's a lot of blushes in this video. I have just realized, but the first one I picked up, I saw on TikTok and I got it from this Boots voucher. It is the Revolution Fast Base Blush. I got mine in the shade Rose. Oh um, my God, I love it. It's kind of matte, but it does give you a lovely glow at the same time. It looks kind of matte, but um, you put it on, it's, it's, yeah, it's really nice. It's definitely a good, I would say it's a dupe, but it's not a dupe, I'd say. Um, I'm literally obsessed with it though. I love the color, perfect for spring. Um, oh, you can use it for your lips. I was about to say this would be a lovely lip tint, but it is for cheek and lips as well. So I definitely recommend that was like five or six pound. I also got the pixie one from Vinted. This is like a TikTok made me buy it. I saw it and I fell in love with it. Um, this is definitely a must have in your makeup bag. I got mine in the shade Juicy. It is the pixie on the go blush stick. Oh my God look at it it's stunning i just need to put it on for you guys because look at that glow it gives your cheeks i actually haven't got this one on today i have the milk one on today um this is just i'm in love the minute i put it on i was like new favorite 100 
definitely a favorite of mine at the moment. Other thing TikTok has kind of made me buy, I'm on, had my eyes on the um, Pink Gasm by Charlotte Tilbury. Is it the Magic or Wonder Wand or one of the two? Um, but I wanted to try some dupes as well that I've seen and just some like glow sticks in general. I got the Elf Jelly Pop in Watermelon from Vinted. I wonder if this is still available on the site. I'm gonna put it on my hand. It gives you a glowy, dewy look. And I love that. It's got a champagne-y colour to it. And then I also got the glow stick from Revolution. I ran to Superdrug for this. I got mine in... Oh my gosh, is it rosy? Yeah, I think it's called rosy. Um, or rose. And it's like a rose gold colour, basically. But I love it on my skin. It gives you such a lovely natural glow. Perfect for spring again. That really tough, like, six or eight pound. But it's definitely worth going and grabbing from Superdrug. It is amazing. I also darted it to Superdrug the night after I saw this on TikTok. So obviously I had my eye on the Charlotte Tilbury um, pink gasm. And I saw a dupe. This is the Revolution Bright Light Highlighter. Um, it's in, like, a pinky tone. It, does it have a shade name? It just says with quartz and it's called Bean Pink and it's like a twisty one. I'm gonna swatch it in the middle here. <gasps> it's so gorgeous. It's a lot lighter than the Charlotte Tilbury one, but it's still a beautiful dupe, I highly recommend. And then it also got the Eye Bright Concealer in a darker shade to contour with. This is in Deep Tan. I have the original Eye Bright and I absolutely love it for under my eyes. And I wanted something different to cream or liquid contour with, and this is incredible. It looks so natural. It's so good to like and easy to blend, uh, honestly. Definitely going to be repurchasing this over and over. And the same with the lighter concealer I have as well. Um, these retail for like £8 each. What a bargain. Yes, yeah, so I bought a lot of foundations as well this month. I also, I was dying to try this TikTok made me buy it. I might as well make this a video called TikTok made me buy it. Anyway, I am look, looking at this. And I was eyeing it up and I was like, I've never really reached for Rimmel in absolute years. Not since the Zoella days. Um, that was a very long time ago. That was like 2014. was probably the last time I bought from Rimmel. I'm not even joking. Um, and I got the Rimmel kind and free foundation is the moisturizing skin tint one my god it is incredible it is lightweight the coverage is incredible it's also buildable but i don't think you need more than one coat anyway or one layer um i got mine in vanilla so it's like an in between for my tan it works perfectly my skin was glowing let me tell you now my god it looked incredible it's like 9.99 but my god it's so worth buying i actually got mine in boots and I don't regret it at all. That's probably one of the best Rimmel products they've ever bought out. Like, Rimmel having a bit of a, like, glow up going on here. Keep it coming. Like, I'm living for it. This is one I was dying to try for a long, long time. And I'm really glad I finally picked up with my Boots voucher. This is the Huda Beauty Baby Bake. I got mine in Blondie, so it has a yellow undertone. Obviously, I have pink undertone on my skin. My God, I'm glad I bought it. But £17, look at the size of this, guys. Oh my god, like if I like it enough, maybe I'll get the full size one. But honestly, I don't use a loose powder that often. I'm trying to get into it more again. Um, but I wanted one that was high end to compare it to other ones. And honestly, I can see why people go for high end and why so many people rave about this because it looks incredible. Your skin looks flawless, it stays all day. My eyes didn't crease, like the list goes on. It's so lovely and it's just such a cool lid. Let me quickly show you. So you, you flip this bit up, you twist it, and then you pull it, and then you've got your powder. I just that was really cool i've not seen anything like that before you can see the powder coming up but yeah i'm really pleased i finally actually purchased that one this one was gifted from she glam which is uh sheen's makeup brand the insta ready face and under eye setting powder duo i did compare this to the huda baby bake on my tiktok and honestly i love them both this is actually really really good they sent me two so the first one you've got just a translucent like press powder which i don't really know what I'm gonna use that for. And then underneath, you've obviously got your normal translucent powder. Um, honestly, it's actually really, really good. I highly recommend it. I'm probably gonna give my mum the other one because I end up with like twos of stuff sometimes. And yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit mad. So I give them to my mum because my mum loves trying them out. Um, yeah, it's a really good powder. I do recommend it. If you're looking for one and don't wanna spend like absolutely loads, I definitely try out the She Glam one. I love their makeup range as it is. It's honestly amazing. So have a look through the stuff, it's so good. So did you guys know that e.l.f. had a new range out called Cookies and Creams or Cookies and Dreams, should I say? I ran to Boots when I ran to Boots, ran to Superdrug when I saw this and picked this up straight away. This is a Cookies and Dream Cookie Crumble Lip Exfoliant. Now, if you can see, I have really dry lips and I pick them because of my anxiety, I chew on them. They're, they're just not great half the time. This smells like cookies. It's an incredible, it melts on your lips as well as like a balm. 
honestly i've always loved elf's lip exfoliants i definitely recommend this this was five pound and the packaging is just stunning haven't tried this yet this is the elf cookies and dreams lip gloss in oh my god has it got a shade on it let me have a look cookies and dream cookie that can't be the shade um it's a black lip gloss but apparently black lip gloss is in at the moment should we try it quickly i'm intrigued to try this i saw a girl try it online so obviously i ran to Superdrug and bought it because tiktok made me buy it um i can't imagine a black lip gloss being nice i feel like it's gonna be really sheer because it looks sheer in the video i feel like it gives you like a nice deep color i don't know or just like make your natural color deeper it's really sticky I don't, that's, that's not good it's awkward to get out i'm having to apply quite a bit to see some sort of payoff which is fine it definitely darkened my lip color wait let me make sure i get my cupid's bow no i actually quite like that it tastes good too um yeah i quite like the darker theme of like black lip gloss it's cute i like it i like a deeper rose tone on my lips so yeah i rate that um it's not as sticky now i've got it on and it tastes nice and it's slightly glittery so um yeah i'm living for it i rate that mom if you're watching this i also have another thing for you i accidentally bought two of these these are the elf or this is the elf hydrating core shine lip uh, lip gloss or lip shine it's just a lip shine it's a hydrating one obviously it's like a tinted lip balm basically um i accidentally bought the same shades thinking it looked cute online realizing i actually had it in my drawer already look at the heart in the middle how cute is that it's a very cute shade i've got a little bit of space on my hand um as you can see it's just a little bit of a tint but it's lovely these are five pound i want to get some more of them but it's hard to tell online about the shades but i absolutely love them i'm living for lip tints more than anything at the moment because my lips are always so dry at this time of year so pixie gifted me again another dream come true i love working with pixie they are honestly sweethearts they sent me a couple of their rose range this is their rose lip tint um i don't know if it has a name for it but honestly it is beautiful it has like a little pink pale pink dot in the middle i've been wearing this on a daily basis i'm not even joking i'm just trying to find some room on my hand for you it's a little bit more of like a tulip color tint i'd say like a pink tulip tint but it's so lovely and natural it keeps my lips hydrated i'm loving pixie at the moment they also sent me their glowy powder this is the rose dew powder so it looks like this i haven't tried this fully yet but oh my god it's more like i personally would say it's more like a highlighter definitely oh it's so glittery i'm gonna try this out tomorrow actually for work i think it looks super cute i love changing up my makeup routine at the moment and just trying out new products i'm really getting back into makeup and god have i missed it i hope you guys have too because i have so much to show you and again tiktok made me buy it but i wanted it as well but tiktok definitely made me buy it this is the physician's formula butter bronzer um i got mine in literally the shade bronzer um oh my god if you don't have this splash out that extra fiver because it's like 11 pound at the moment in boots you've got 20 percent off instead of 14 splash it out and buy this for one it smells a bit like coconut and it goes on a dream it also comes with a little hidden compartment with a brush on the inside you guys need this it is so good i can see why everyone raves about this bronzer now because honestly it's a work of art so this was technically like a valentine's day present from mel i don't know if you guys have seen this already oh my gosh I've, i thought i bent my book then um i was treated to the dior lip glow oil and it has my name engraved on the back i got mine in the shade pink it's literally 001 and i'm gonna keep this forever how beautiful are the lip oils they are just a dream i want all of them i do have a few of the dior lipsticks but the lip oils just hit different they look incredible they go with every look I can think of. I just don't want to use it all the time because they're so pricey. They're like £29. But honestly, it is worth treating yourself to one because they are honestly the most beautiful oil I have ever tried. Okay, Wonder Skin gifted me one of their um, lip masks. But they're not. They are lip masks. But they're peel-off tints. You know the ones you see that you peel it off and it's got a skin tint? Yeah, they sent me one of them. And I got mine in the shade Lovely. It's like a nude shade. But it de it deepened my lip colour. The longer you leave on, it like gets um, deeper and deeper. You get a little spray mist to put on. And you leave it on for like five seconds. Honestly, it looks so lovely. And the lip stain does stay on all day. It's worth the money. You can buy them on Amazon. This is not sponsored. I genuinely really liked it. 
I've never tried a lip tint before, so it was really nice to try something different, like an actual lip stain. And I loved it. You could put a gloss over the top and it definitely just, it looks really natural, to be honest. I got like a natural shade anyway. Um, it just gave my lips a little bit more color, which I really like. Also picked up from Boots, the NYX lip pencil in New Truffle. I couldn't remember the shade and I found it on TikTok, of course. Um, it is the perfect lip liner for that fake filler look, for nude lip look. It is my favorite lip combo now. I had a nude one before from there called Natural and I love that. It's about this big, the pencil now. I definitely need to repurchase, but I have no idea when I'm going to a NYX store or um, a super drug that has NYX in it. And then I also got the Soap and Glory like lips tint for Valentine's Day of Mel. This came with the Thick and Fast Mascara, an eye mask, a lip mask and the lip oh my god the sugar melting exfoliating balm which i'm living for it really does melt on your lips and i'm loving it but it stopped coming out i think it's where it's so thick which is kind of annoying but yeah we move um that is do you mind that is everything i have to show you guys um i hope you got some ideas for your wish lists from here go treat yourself girls and guys you deserve it anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe because i have so many hauls coming up for like skincare as well and i'll see you guys in my next video bye